Hello and welcome to the Blender Hobbist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a <coughs> carbon muscle. Yes, a carbon muscle uh, with a curve. It is very easy. First of all, you can do uh, you can do this carbon muscle for make something like robotic and humanoid terminator something like that or you can make something more creative something like in the in another futuristic scene or movie something like that yeah let's start it first of all i want to show you what is carbon muscle sorry and yes something like this i'm going to show you how to make something like this very easily in five minutes or maybe a little bit longer <coughs> yes let's start it now i'm going to hide it and I'm going to add two curves yes a bezier curve and another curve a path curve you can see I'm going to press this curve uh, properties and I'm going to go to level as object and click our bezier tree because I have uh, many other beziers and now you can see it is look like a bring it here it look like a pipe but if I click you can see here go tab to edit mode and I'm going to press this one and press S it doesn't Precise. Why? Because I have to press Alt S. You can see. And Alt S to size it. And another Alt S size it. I'm going to press here. Come here. Sorry. Alt S. <laughs> if you press all and press Alt S, it's gonna make it something um, uh, tiny or slimy. If you want some more uh, points, you can subdivide it, and you can see here and here. I'm going to press Alt S, subdivide it something more. realistic yeah and you can adjust it or control that press go to here or go it is very easy to adjust it You can see because it is a curve it is it's very easy to adjust it I don't want to do this and I'm going to press a alt s make it something little bit bigger and press tab to object mode and I'm going to press carbon search in blender kit as you know, I use Blender Kit a lot because <coughs> I don't want to uh, spend my time to make materials. Ah, the surging is a little bit. time consuming, maybe. Call. Bring it fiber. Sorry, I don't know why it doesn't bring it. Yeah, yeah, fiber. Yeah, 
you can see here and I'm going to bring here come to report shading and I'm try I'm going to try all of this ah this is log it for example I'm going to use this one takes a little bit of time oh cycle I don't know why my computer is so maybe it's about my internet connection so now I'm going to add from F carbon fiber. You can see you can download from here. Oh not this one. Yeah, this is why what I wanted to use. <laughs> Another uh, uh, thing I wanted to uh, add a holder something like holder I don't want to make something just uh, muscle I'm going to add a UV sphere you can see it's here and yeah yeah it's this is my UV sphere now I'm going to press tap um, I'm going to add this one and from here yeah because I have many things here yep. yeah um, I'm going to add this one too and I press Control plus I think this is enough to make something I'm going to press X to delete faces and going to select this one press W to change my press tab and shift tab shift all oh, oh, sorry and I'm going to press right click and I'm going to press edge loop and I'm going to add a to loop cut to make something smoother when I subdivide it and I'm going to show you an easy way you can add a cylinder this is easy but um, bad way I'm going to show you right way and you can scale it and bring it here as to scale you can make something like this to do that actually both of them I'm going to press both of them as to scale you can make something like this but this is by the way I'm going to show you more appropriate way to do that and press this one and yeah this is my sphere press tab and I'm going to select many faces here it must be square all these faces I think it must be a little bit bigger nope sorry uh, I'm going to make this one this one 
it's appropriate more good way and I'm going to press alt shift s to make it sphere you can see I'm going to press X to delete faces and press sorry I'm going to press S to scale now it looks something more good E to extrude X S X zero to make it good E to extrude X I'm going to press F press I and I'm going to press this one make add a loop cut and I'm going to subdivide this subdivision surface you can see it looks better because of this faces this edges we added sorry and of course you can make this something like this e to extrude e to extrude x i e to extrude and you can make something like this but it isn't necessary it looks a little bit better and now I'm going to show all this one and I'm going to press S scale yeah you can see and I want to make uh, this material something like this it looks fancy better shift D to duplicate it press X R Z one on eight D and bring it here. Yeah, it looks like more fancy, and you can even use same. Oh, sorry, shade smooth because it must be look better, and you can use. Uh, carbon fiber in here too maybe if you want it but using metallic in here it will look better I think actually that's all that's all I want to show you uh, why I used to curve because I can um, sorry I can uh, modify it very easily and take it to to some some places to modify it to adjust it. It is very easy way, and only trick is uh, is in uh, this way. You can't scale it with S. You have to use all this that's all and you can press a press alt s you can make it small muscle you can make it big muscle and this is very easy way to do that thanks for watching if you like this is very a uh, this is useful for you please subscribe my channel and thumbs up uh, Thanks for watching again.